Welcome back to this new episode in which we will be getting the data submitted uh, from the form and store it to the database inside instead of this no sense text. So the form is submitted and it has some data inside it and we need to figure out what is inside it, how to access the form data. So first of all, I would like to start with a simple dump method here. Form and I will execute get data. So get data method simply as the name and it will return the data submitted by the form. Refreshing the page and right here we see nothing but if we look to this uh, symphony debugging toolbar we could see that we have an object here with a type uh, with a type not it's an array basically containing all the fields that we did define inside the form we need to rely on that to uh, save and get the user data all right so here what we can do is two options whether we can do something like this for example let's imagine i would like to access for example i'd like to get the customer name so what i have to do here since this is an array we can do customer name etc etc and now if i go back let me just retest and see that is working fine so checking this and i have the name here there we go so this is the customer name and there is another approach to do this it's through another method from the form it is simply get here and here it does accept as a param the name of the attribute that we need to get so let me retest this real quick here just to show you that this is also working so the dump and we have a whole object here with a name uh, being displayed right there so we need actually here to get the value to execute another sub method right here which is get data so again it's kind of redundant to do get and then get data but anyway, it's up to you to use whatever option you think it's better. So there we go. We have the plain name being displayed right there. So here, since this is the recommended way to do things, I will stick with the recommendations. And finally, the grade. Okay, nice. Now let's go ahead and test if this will work correctly. Now, if I do refresh the page, well, it's broken because product ID does not exist. So there's already an ID product here. Hopefully that is correct. Refreshing. There we go. So all went well. There is no errors. We have a little dump right there. Let's check the database. So here, there we go. Let's look at this line, line six. We have uh, product one, uh, the name Mohammed, the title of the book, good book. And the grade is five so we are good with our form we are submitting data from the form we are persisting that to the database